Welcome to this edition of my Fireside Chat. As you can see, we're here at Ferris Field, Harvey Stadium on the Delta State campus. And my guest today is Zach Shannon, who just wrapped up a stellar career as the first baseman with the Statesman baseball team. The Cincinnati, Ohio native racked up numerous awards over the course of his two years with the Green and White, including Gulf South Conference Player of the Year, South Region Player of the Year, National Player of the Year, Tino Martinez Award, a finalist for the C Spire Ferris Trophy, and being named to the American Baseball Coaches Association All-American First Team. What a year, what a career. Zach made history recently when it was announced that he was a semifinalist for the USA Baseball's Golden Spikes Award. While Zach wouldn't be the first non-Division I player to win this award should he do it, he is the first Division II baseball player to be named a semifinalist since the final 25 list was added in 2007. The 41st Golden Spikes Award will be presented on June the 23rd, uh, June 28th in Los Angeles. Zach finished his career with an amazing 420 batting average with 50 home runs, including 31 home runs this season. That set a new home run record for all the state of Mississippi collegiate activities, passing Mississippi State University's Rafael Palmero and Bruce Castoria. Zach, congratulations on a fabulous career at Delta State, a great year of performance here, and all the awards that you have received uh, very, very well uh, deserved, and we're very proud of you. Thank you. I'm here. We're glad that you're here. Uh, what would you say, looking back at your career here and your baseball days, uh, that the impact uh, of uh, not only the Delta State program, but uh, Coach Mike Kennison have had on you and your career and your playing and your personality? Uh, it's, really, it's really matured me a lot. Um, coaches uh, want to humble you real quick and, you know, make you move on from the next thing. and. Um, you know, you can never live in the moment and soak things in. It's, you know, it's always just, you know, the next thing's up. And, uh, you know, it, it makes you mature. It makes you uh, realize that um, things come at you fast and you can't, you know, boast about things and you can't, you, can't, uh, you know, get too big-headed. And, um, you know, it's, it's really made me mature um, as a person and as a player. It's made me work a lot harder. And, um, you know, it's made me understand that, you know, things can't be handed to you. you got to work real hard for them. And, uh, you know, very grateful for that. You bet. In addition to that, are there other lessons that you would focus on that you think baseball has taught you that have been great for you as you enter your professional life? Um, you know, like I said, uh, baseball is very, very unforgiving. Um, you know, the end of the season was a very, very hard struggle for me. Um, you know, I went from, you know, doing great things all year long to um, being struggling a lot and um, you know it was just showing up to the field every day and you know trying to work my work my hardest to get through it and um, you know I struggled throughout the um, conference tournament um, you know didn't perform the way I wanted to and you know just kept working hard and working hard and working hard mm -hmm. um, you know I was in the batting cages until 11 30 12 1 30 mm -hmm. you know in the morning and um, I finally broke out of it once we got to the regionals. Um, you know, started hitting balls real hard again and feeling a lot better. But you know, it was uh, baseball's taught me. You know, especially yeah. here, you know, you gotta you gotta work hard if you want to get what you want. You bet. So. Life life is difficult and you have to work hard. Those are pretty good lessons to learn early. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. What are what are some highlights? What are some of the best memories you'll take from your college experience here? Uh, absolutely, just the um, the conference tournament and the regional tournament last year were um, unbelievable. Um, you know, getting to host it here, which was which was awesome. Um, you know, I don't think uh, playing in front of crowds like we did. Um, you know, I don't think I'll ever get that opportunity again. You know, at least at this level, um, I don't think a lot of people have that opportunity. Uh, we we packed this place out during that time, and you know, it was very very awesome. Um, getting to dogpile twice. Um, you know, I know uh, I know West Al is kind of our rival. So it was really nice doing that mm -hmm. on them twice yes. in the same year. Last year, right. Those were great and, finishes. Um, right in the conference tournament and the regional tournament, which was awesome. So, you know, um, those are probably my two favorite things. Um, you know, just, you know, all the road trips with the guys. It got so close with this group of guys that was here. Um, you know, we still talk every day, I'm sure. A lot of those guys I'll talk to every day for the rest of my life. You bet. And, you bet. Um, so, you know, just coming out here six, seven, eight hour days every day for two years. You get real close with people, and you know we made a lot of good memories. You bet. So, what's next for Zach Shannon? Uh, you know, just 
as we sit here, you know, just waiting on a, waiting on the phone call. Um, you know, I'm not really sure. It's been a stressful, stressful week. Uh, it's been slow. A lot of, a lot of sitting and waiting, and um, but uh, they're trickling know. out those names from the draft. Yeah, they? yeah, it's just it's it's pretty. Uh, I would say miserable, <laughs> sitting and waiting and watching, sitting by your phone all day long. Anytime you get a text or a phone call, you freaking out and. Yeah. Um, but you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully Pro Bowl and uh, this draft thing works out, and you know, get to go to the next level and continue to push myself in my career. Well, that's great. Well, your Delta State family is very proud of you. Congratulate you on all of your awards, and we wish you the very best you, in what I know is going to be a great career. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah. And as we sit here, concluding this session of Fireside Chat, our friend Zach Shannon, who just visited with us, is around the corner taking a call regarding the draft. So we should know something soon. But here's the ball. I just got it to sign for me. So here we are, starting out a new career for one of Delta State's greats. In other news on campus, registration for a second term summer school cl closes on July the 3rd. Also, if you plan to enroll as a student this fall, be sure to attend one of our summer orientation sessions so that you can get registered for your classes and get familiar with the campus. There are two remaining sessions, June 28th and July 16th. For more information on orientation or to register, just visit our website, www.deltastate.edu. And to keep up with all of our news and events and activities, go to that website, deltastay.edu, anytime. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you the next time on another edition of Fireside Chat.